When it comes to aches and pains for little ones, one of the most common is ear infections. In fact, three out of four children will have an ear infection by their third birthday. And Dr. Shears, that's why we have guests up here. You betcha. We have Kinley here along with her mom, Elizabeth. How's it going, you guys? Good, thank Good. you. So, Kinley, you have a lot of ear infections, huh? How many? Like three. Three? Does, do they hurt? Or a bunch. Or a bunch. I bet it's, I bet it's a bunch, huh, mom? Yeah. Yeah, well, we're also joined by Dr. Oz Garcia, nutritionist, right? And you've written a book that I love, The Food Cure for Kids. That's correct. And that's a, it's a perfect book for this show because that's what we're talking about, how food can be a great cure, much better than a pill sometimes. Because foods do matter. And, but let's talk about you may actually, ear infections. Ear infections. Tell people, how in the world could foods Food. affect ear infections? That's a really good question. Crap. So this is what's happening in your ear. <laughs> you see all this mucus in here? That, that's what happens when you get an ear infection. And what happens, I'm gonna show you at home on this animation, is normally the eustachian tube drains the middle ear into the back of the throat. Any mucus that gets in there. But if you have allergies or a cold, that eustachian tube clamps down and that mucus builds up and can't drain. You get all that excess mucus and it builds up in here. It becomes painful, it becomes an infection and your ear hurts, and then mom has to take you to a doctor. And that's no fun, right? Uh -uh. All right, let's go back. But, mom, did you, do you realize that 85% of ear infections are caused by a virus? And <laughs> antibiotics aren't gonna do a darn thing for those. And that's where food can kind of come in sometimes. Some kids are kind of sensitive to certain foods, and it builds up more mucus and leads to ear infections. We cut those foods out, and it makes a huge difference that ear infections go away. You probably see that a lot. Uh, all the time. It. And I used to suffer from ear infections when I, when I was a kid. And part of, of writing the book was trying to answer for myself some of these questions. How come kids get cold so often? Uh, why are we going through so many health issues with kids? And where does food fit in there? Mm -hmm. So there are foods that actually produce mucus and can actually aggravate and make the cold or the infection much worse in the ear. Exactly. And we're going to teach these to Kinley right now, but we're going to make it fun. Do you like to play games? All right, well, we're going to spin the mucus wheel. <laughs> See the wheel, Kelly? There will it is. you spin that for we're us? Gonna, and it's going to help us talk about which give foods it a big old cause spin. mucus and Just, which You don't. can touch the wall, and it, it'll automatically go. Just put your hand there and kind of... There we go. So the first food that may, in some people, increase mucus production is... Wheat. Oh. And actually, it's gluten in wheat itself. It can trigger inflammation. And then the cells within your ear canal, uh, within your sinuses, for instance, begin to over-secrete mucus. That then builds up and clogs up the ear itself. So if you have a gluten sensitivity, you have to yeah. be aware of this. Try some, we, try a we spread, yeah. Spin the wheel and let's see what another possible culprit may be. Woo! <laughs> the go. mucus wheel be? is rolling! Yeah. <laughs> what might it be? <laughs> bananas! bananas. So how can bananas in some people increase mucus production? Well, same thing. It, it's, it's how bananas are picked. I mean, they're picked green, they need to travel long distances, then they're put into warehouses, and then they're gassed so that they ripen very quickly. But the sugars in, in the bananas remain somewhat incomplete. That can cause gas, bloating, inflammation, and hence also trigger uh, inflammation and mucus production within the ear. Dairy is, is another one that everyone thinks of as increasing mucus production. True or false? Absolutely. I mean, dairy is very high in lactose, which many people cannot break down, casein, whey, and this can mm -hmm. be a trigger where <clears throat> after a glass of milk, you're completely congested and, and can contribute to the ear getting filled up with mm -hmm. mucus. And we don't have time to break it down, but there are foods that can actually help break up mucus. Tremendous. One of them is pineapple, pineapple. as an example, right? Because we, of bromelain. bromelain breaks so up that so mucus, point yeah. is, just be aware. Even if you need to keep a food journal, figure out what foods may increase your mucus production or what may be associated with your kids' earaches.